In May 1945, victory was celebrated in Europe. But the war continued for those fighting in the East. The theatre of war was vast and remote, and since 1941, British forces have been fighting a losing battle against a brutal enemy. Made even worse by hostile terrain, poor supply routes, disease and extremes of weather. In 1941, the Japanese invaded territories across Asia, many of which at the time were under British, Dutch and American rule. Hong Kong fell on Christmas Day and Allied forces withdrew to Singapore, which then surrendered in early 1942. Naval forces were effectively pushed out of Southeast Asia and the remains of the Army and Air Force were chased through Burma to India on a thousand mile fighting retreat, the longest in British military history. Between 1942 and 1944, the Commonwealth forces fought a fierce war across Asia. The tide began to turn in 1944 with the battles of Imphal and Kohima, which inflicted heavy losses on the Japanese. The British Pacific Fleet launched operations on occupied territories and the islands of Japan. By the end of 1944, the army, alongside RAF air power, began to fight its way through Burma, reaching Rangoon in May 1945. The human cost of the war in the Far East is sobering. The first Japanese surrender took place on August 15th, 1945, but this did not signal the end of hostilities. For the Allied armed forces, locating and negotiating the reparation of prisoners of war was a priority, as well as finding, identifying and retrieving those missing, believed killed. In Southeast Asia and the Pacific, the Commonwealth War Graves Commission commemorates more than 120,000 Commonwealth service men and women who died between December 1941 and the end of 1945. Behind each name carved in stone or set in bronze is a personal story and a family bereaved. Their sacrifice leaves a huge debt which we can never fully repay. But from isolated graves through to dedicated war cemeteries and memorials commemorating thousands of individuals, the Commission ensures those who died, no matter where or how they died, would always be remembered. Today these places of remembrance are better visited than at any other time in their history. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. Thank you.